My name is Dr. Charles Rolla. I'm the Bacon Specialist at the Samuel Roberts Noble Foundation. And today we're going to demonstrate banana graft or four flap grafting. And we're going to show you a new technique called the American Method using duct tape. Some of the tools we're going to use today, a pair of hand loppers, duct tape, a small rubber band, and a grafting knife. A grafting knife should have a straight blade, two to two and a half inches long. And the first things we'll do is select a, a branch on the tree that's going to be a little bit smaller than our graft wood, and then we'll work from there. So we've, we're going to select this branch here to do our grafting. So we're going to cut back, and everything below it we're going to just trim off so we have easy access to it. and we'll clean the tree up after we're done, but this just gives you access to the branch you're going to do your grafting on. And then you're going to cut the top off at the point that you're going to want to make your cuts. And the key that you do not want to forget is your, your rubber band at this point. You're going to slip your rubber band over and wrap it around a few times, but make sure you do not put it on too tight because you want to be able to roll it up and down on this branch. So we've selected our graft wood. It's a little bit larger than where we're, the rootstock we're putting it on. You want to make sure that the buds are going to face up. And the first thing you're going to do is on your rootstock here, you're going to make four equal cuts. So it's easy to start by making your crosses at the top of your, your branch here. So you have a guide. And then with your grafting knife, you're gonna just barely push through the bark. Be careful not to put a finger on the back side. You can push the blade right through that, that wood. And just continue around to make your four equal cuts. The length of your blade. And once you have those cut, the bark should slip easily away from the wood. And so this is where it gets the name four flap or banana graft because it's like peeling a banana and you have four equal flaps there. So make a fresh cut on your sign wood because the end of the wood is, is dried out. So you wanna give a fresh cut and I'm gonna cut right above the bud. So I remove it so I don't have to worry about cutting through it. And we're gonna take our pocket knife and we're gonna make four equal cuts to match our flaps that we made cuts on earlier. And we're just barely going through the bark here. You want to make sure that your sign wood is alive and seeing that it is nice and green. So at the end, you've kind of squared off your, your piece of sign wood. Next, you want to take your, lop, your uh, pruners and you're going to cut off the, out the plug. Be careful not to touch your fingers onto um, your flaps because the oil in your fingers can kill the, the cambium layer. And you're going to cut that plug out you want to roll up your, your flap so they don't dry out. We're going to put our sign wood in, match up our cuts to our flaps, and then roll our rubber band up in place over the flap so it's holding the sign wood in securely. And then we'll be ready to tape. We're just using duct tape. This tape is regular duct tape that I've torn in half, and I rolled it onto a piece of PVC pipe so it's a little easier to handle. And you just want to pull it tight, start below your cuts, and make one single wrap along the, the graft union. And make sure you go up above it a full length of your tape and tear it. You want to apply glue. We're using Elmer's glue. You can use the white glue or the wood glue, but you want to just put it on the very tip of your sign wood and just apply it to the top of it and that keeps it from drying out and you should be able to see your buds starting to push within three to four weeks and that way if they start pushing you know you have a new tree all right after you finish your graft one final thing you want to do is put a bird perch to keep the birds from landing on your sign wood and so we're going to use a piece of wood that we uh, a shoot that we cut off the tree we're just going to trim everything off We're just going to tape it 
so it's higher than our sign and that way the bird will learn, land up here and whenever they kick off they're going to push off on this instead of on our sign wood. Okay, this is a four flap that was applied last year. This is the, the new current growth. And you can see this is our piece of sign wood. And you can see our flaps on our, on our four flap here. It's calloused over and the tree is now growing. Eventually we'll cut the back side of this tree off and this will be our new variety tree. Okay, this is a four flap that was applied two years ago. It was the same size as sign wood that we put on earlier. And you can actually see the flap. Right here is one of the original flaps. But this is how much this tree has grown in, in caliper and in height in two years. 